Compass FM 104.9, Gary US Bonds and New Orleans. In the studio, I have the wonderful and talented Ronnie and Jeff from Odyssey. Good afternoon. How are you? Good, Good Hi, Steph. Steph. How are you? I'm very yeah. well, thank you. Uh, now, Odyssey, uh, can you uh, give us a little bit of a, a background on Odyssey? Like, how long have you been around for? Uh, early 70s. I think Odyssey did its first gig at the what was the Canterbury University Common Room, which is, then became the upstairs bar of Ducks Deluxe in the Arts Centre. And yeah. I think that first gig was in September 1973. So four decades. Yeah, and prior to that, um, Ronnie, Bill, the bass player, yeah. and myself were in Dunedin for about a year and a half, resident at a club down there, and we came back to Christchurch added Terry Gallivan on keyboards and became Odyssey. Oh, nice. Hey, um, Ronnie, now, so not many bands. Jeff was just saying that, you know, you've been around for four decades. What's kind of the, the key to sort of staying together, I guess, and, and recording some 43 years later? Well, um, we all have, like the same sort of music. Um, I think um, I'm a bit older than the rest of the guys and um, that kind of helped a wee bit because they were 15 when they joined the band. So that's a, that's, um, a, that's a long time but it's so good that you've been able to sort of stay together and has the lineup changed in, in any way? Yeah. Yes, sorry. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> it has. We've had quite a few members over the times but um, the bass player Bill, Bill Kearns, he's come back mm-hmm. several times and over the years and... Um, Terry has been there over the years and now we're all back together again really good mates and um, having a really good time Yeah, we, we didn't play for 15 or so of those years we've, since we started yep. and um, then we got the chance to do a reunion gig in 2007 yep. at a Owls Bar in town Oh lovely and uh, that sort of brought us all back together and and we enjoyed that so much we, we've really gone on from there yeah. now um Jeff what instrument do you play um, drums your drummer yep. and Ronnie what instrument do you play or sing um well I play the guitar yeah um, I have a 1959 59 no 1952 yep Gibson Leeds Hall oh nice yes. and I've had that for 50 years this year must sound really mm. nice, actually. Yeah, Gibson. Yeah, yeah, good, good guitar. It's a pretty rare guitar. It is. Yeah. It would be. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, so, how many are in the band currently? Four. There's so there's four. Bill Kearns on bass, Terry Gullivan keyboards, Ronnie on guitar, and myself on drums. Lovely, yep. and that's that. What makes up Odyssey? So you're a Rangiora yep. local based Rangiora band. Well, Ronnie and I live in Rangiora, and um, I guess yeah, you could say we're based here. Yeah. Um, anyone wants to book us for any gigs out here, go to our Facebook page, Odyssey Band New Zealand, Lovely. and um, get hold of us through there. Now, um, recently you got sort of uh, quite inspired and you've chosen a, a Beatles song to cover. And I mm. mentioned to everyone earlier on that you've done a wonderful remake of a very famous uh, band's song, and I hadn't told anyone. So um, can you tell us all about, um, Ronnie or Jeff, uh, about the song and why you chose to do it, Jeff? I think it was, uh, you know, a song that we've all been intrigued by for years. It's an unusual song, uh, even, I guess, by Beatles standards. Yeah. You know, I Am The Walrus, it's full of orchestration, it's pretty dark. Mm. Um, and I think, we, yeah, we were always intrigued. Um, in fact, someone put a message on our Facebook page this morning that they'd heard, they remembered Bill playing it in Form 2 at his school. So that's, that's so how cool. long it's sort of been around in, yes. our, in our psyche for. And uh, we just started playing around with it at rehearsal one day and um, just thought, yeah, we, we can probably, you know, make a version of this. And it just grew from there. And we actually worked on it for a long time and decided to record it. And uh, we're all pretty happy with the end product. And it sounds amazing. We have been playing it on Compass FM after about six o'clock at night. Mm-hmm. And it does sound absolutely amazing. As you said, it's quite a complex song. Oh, um, very, yeah. So are there plans for the future for uh, gigs or also other recordings uh, as well too? Have you got in the pipelines? Yep, well, we have our own um, studio that we rehearse in uh, every week and we're all set up with recording gear there. Uh, we've actually recorded quite a few other songs, um, but just decided to go with the Walrus initially um, 
because it's just a little bit different and I think everyone knows that song. It's a good Beatles song. Uh, yeah, we're we're doing a gig at the Wonder Bar in Littleton on Saturday, October the 22nd and mm-hmm. the tickets are available for that on Event Finder. Yes, fantastic. So if you're uh, out and about in North Canterbury, go into town and support this wonderful gig that's coming up. 22nd of October? Yes. Yeah, and uh, Ronnie, how do we get hold of you if we've got... Uh, we'd like to book you. Well, just on our Facebook page. Yep. Um, Odyssey Band NZ. Awesome. And, um, yep, send us a message. That's a message. great. Thank mm. you so much, Jeff. Thank you, Steph. And thank you, Ronnie, for coming in from Odyssey. Check out their Facebook page. Here is their cover of I Am Walrus, North thank Canterbury's you. Compass FM. Seven. 